is gone. Yes. Why? Why is it gone? It was a pile of junk. It does not matter. You fool. Do you not remember what it contained? What could they possibly get from that? That AI knows nothing. Exactly. The AI does not know the Banish is what it should protect him. Are we not on the same side? I know we have different views, but I need to know we are still fighting for the same cause. We are, Carvers. We always have been, and we always will be. The yeah, AI may not know we are the target the Banished, but I can say for certain that it sees another Spartan. It knows to take it down. The Zopos has run its course. You and I are moving to Cinder Thorn. Glory to the Banished. Glory to the Banished. Take them down, buddy. Those are targets. Okay. Five days. Gurg's been missing for five days. Everyone here is just walking around like everything's okay. Maybe they've accepted the truth. What's the truth, Graves? You know what it is. Your pal is gone. I know it sucks to say, but he's dead. Mm. Why is that so hard for you to understand? It's what happens in this job. Some die, some survive. Nah, he's still alive. Wake the hell up, Spartan. He's dead. We tried our best to save him, but he's dead. Now all we can do is find those brutes and kill them. Attention, Spartan. After all this time, I finally get it. The difference between living and dying is hope. This device, it's something we've never seen before. Any information on it? There's Forerunner technology mixed into it. I recognize some pieces and they look like miniaturized slipspace engine parts. They were damaged when we first brought it back, but I repaired it the best I could. Not just that, but we managed to archive some footage from the date of Gerg's disappearance. Leave with that one next time. What was that? Uh, nothing, sir. Ah, damn. 
Nothing. There he is. All okay, Dirk? You guys need to get... Is that it? The hell are they saying? Can you enhance the audio? Yes, just one second. Lucas, you will not know. What's the deal? You will end your attacks on the banished, and we will end our assault on the UNSC across the ring. Did I just hear that right? I think you did. Kurt made a deal with Ikarak? At least, I think that's Ikarak? That was him, not a doubt in my mind. I'll never forget his voice. Damn. But did you guys hear what Ikarak wanted? He said the Banish would end their assault if we stopped killing them. Oh, that's some bullshit. I'm with you on that one. I don't know. When I was with him, I could hear Ikarak talk. He almost sounded remorseful. Like he didn't agree with Imperium. Dude tried to kill us, and now he wants a truce? If Ikarak wants a truce, why have we not heard from Gerd? Why do we find his armor on that shelf with no sign of any life anywhere? Well, hold on, keep in mind, didn't Gerg say there was another brute? He did. Ace, do you know anything about that one? I don't believe so. When I was there, the only ones I saw were Ikarak and Imperium. Neither of the two ever mentioned a different brute. This footage is not the only intel we've been able to get. We have a familiar problem. This drone image captured a rogue Spartan. This one's different. He's actually fighting against the Banished. Every recent outpost that's been destroyed, this guy's been there. He's even managed to get himself a name. And that is? The Reaper. You mean Gerg? Well, we can't say for certain. Come on, it probably is. Any other info on him other than his corny ass name? He's a high value target to the Banished now. Well, that's good news, I guess. More good news is, we know exactly where he is. Echo 517 is ready to fly out. But the bad news? He's wearing the same type of armor that I wore with all the other corrupted Spartans, so it's possible that he has an AI. Hold up, I thought we destroyed the banished AIs. You destroyed the ones you found. Spartan, what do you think about this? I think it's weird to think that he would have an AI if he's clearly helping the UNSC. Ace didn't help much when he had Imperium. I say we go out there and bring him in. See if it's Gerg or another Spartan that needs our help. Sounds like a plan. We'll be back. Spartan, wait. What is it, sir? We're sending Fire Team Ember. Why? On the chance of this being Gerg, we don't want an emotional connection to the target. Gerg is not a target. You're pretty high up there in the command. Can't you do something? It's him. Sir? It's not a coincidence. It's him. Sir, if you know it's him, why'd you call me up here if you aren't going to send us? I needed you up here before Fireteam Ember left. Why, sir? I'm going to turn around. You're going to walk out that door and lead Ace and Sting to him. Bring him home. Thank you, sir. Oh, hey guys. Thing Ace and I are about to head out gonna go get those brutes if anyone's interested. Oh! G Graves, I should mention, you're gonna love this one. Uh, Gurg is alive, you know, like I said he was, but no big deal. We could use the help, but hey, if you don't want to join us, that's cool. Nobody's coming? Of course we are. And now, Outpost 7 is destroyed. Not by the Master Chief or Fireteam Infinite, but by a single Spartan. The Reaper, they're calling him. The Reaper who bears our armor and houses the AI. The AI must no longer recognize the banished as allies. It is learning. I do not understand how. We programmed it to see us as friend. But now, Covers, 
The Reaper is on a straight path. Since you let him escape, he has taken out four outposts. So, the next one he arrives at, I will be there. No more waiting. I will attack now, and you, Ikarak, do not bother joining me. No, Coffers. I am coming. We will rip the armor from its flesh, together. That is what I like to hear. But we will not do that yet. We will first use him as a pawn. They have something of ours unrelated to the realm of AI.